Good morning, observers. Today we've got some important new maps to cover. We're going to hit space weather, seismicity, two interesting studies from deep space, and then we're going to close with several new global magnetic field maps from the brand new 2025 World Report on our magnetosphere. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find things were mostly quiet. Solar flaring is low, solar wind is moderate intensity. Big coronal hole there, obviously. A couple small filaments released, but nothing aimed our way. Let's bring a bit of focus to that coronal hole. Its enhanced solar wind is expected to arrive at Earth either January 31st or February 1st. Minor geomagnetic storm is forecast. Moderate auroral production is expected. Sunspots are returning. Yesterday we came close to a blank disk, but the next set of umbral cores turned into view. Eyes on the left side, the incoming limb for flaring activity today. And then we go from flaring to earthquakes, where we're focused on the Ethiopian swarm with a bit of good news. After a flurry of over 190 earthquakes in 27 days, we've had only one in the last four. Hopefully the East African rift is settling back down now. Double dose of space news up next. First, Chandra has helped discover how the massive cosmic jets of galactic cores can shock, collimate, and recycle galactic material. This is official confirmation of the inflow-outflow paradigm of galactic evolution. Up next, we find that a supremely powerful explosion created absolutely zero radio waves. It's not supposed to be anywhere close to possible, like a nuclear bomb with no visible light. They think it may be a brand new, undiscovered kind of explosion in space. And finally, folks, here's the new full magnetic declination map. North Pole, top right, still sliding towards Siberia. South Pole, just below Australia there, heading to the north, northwest. Follow the green lines from those magnetic poles, the null lines, and they meet at Sumatra, exactly where we've discussed them being on track to meet. Up next, look at the total field intensity. We have peaks near the magnetic poles, and on the opposite side of the Earth, the South Atlantic Anomaly, we have the weakest point. But it was not the portion of Earth that weakened most over the last five years. While the South Atlantic Anomaly and the South Pacific both dropped, the United States actually saw the biggest drop in magnetic field protection. Happens to be along the green line, the zero line cutting through the country here too. Come learn about the ongoing magnetic pole shift at one of our conferences or our major events in the April-May transition. Head to ObserverRanch.com. Check out the events page. Check out the store. Book your time to come out and see us in person. That's ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.